Welcome to Let's Fucking Chat. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Alex. Let's talk about some stuff. Why is life crazy? What's going on? Why is life crazy? Uh, <laughs> Why is it oh, not? Yeah, so I'm, I'm developing a, a bunch of different things. So I have like a bunch of business stuff um, because I'm still trying to get my business up and running, which is a software business. And uh, we basically just do websites and different things for people. Um, I'm, uh, sooner or later, I'll be working on our own, our own website. Um, but so I'm finishing up a website for someone. And then I also uh, to stream to make things easier for, uh, for me to stream and uh, somebody who I who am a mod for to stream. I am developing a Chrome extension that can take the uh, uh, the kind of what am I trying to say? the tab information of like a like a youtube like youtube or soundcloud take the song information from it and like allow them to display it on top on top of their stream um without actually having to like you know cut it out of a picture and like keep the window separate and stuff like that um so i'm developing that and then sounds nice there was another extension that i'm oh yeah and then i have the other extension which is which is not necessarily for people um to make life easier but i wanted to make a um a doge donation uh thing like a doge donation chrome extension where you're able to donate to people um via their own like accounts like different uh, amounts of doge if you have like your own doge wallet um because again i'm trying to make i'm trying to spread the word of war of doge <laughs> do you have uh what is it do you have time to speak about our lord and savior doge um <laughs> shut up <laughs> uh, but yeah okay and doge is a is this a this is a yeah this is a foreign currency almost like bitcoin right yeah it's very similar to bitcoin yeah there's a lot of differences but it's basically bitcoin mm-hmm. yeah uh yeah but just basically just doge is just less um uh volatile just given that it's so nice yeah it's so like uh there's a lot of Doge that can be uh, created, way more than um, uh, than Bitcoin. And so the reason why Bitcoin is so expensive is that there is a cap uh, to how many Bitcoin can be on the market. So basically it's very similar to gold, um, whereas Dogecoin is it's basically unlimited, although the amount that's on the, uh, on the market at a time is very limited, very similar to like the dollar bill. Um, and yeah, the Doge is going to continue to be very kind of low in price. We want it right now. It's at like five cents. Um, we want it to go to like at least like a dollar, somewhere around in that um, in that range. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all. Yeah, let's. <laughs> I just want. I want to help get that somewhere. Um, yes. I think that you're trying to be a nice little prophet. Basically, nice exactly. Helper B to push Doge to the exactly. top. Exactly. I want to the internet currency. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to because I think that so one, I'm a, I'm a progressive. I love like progressing things. Uh, it's it's like my favorite thing. So the idea of an internet currency, of a digital currency that's you know like not like a that's not that's decentralized and not run by any specific person or group of people, it sounds great and and I want it to happen and I want to spearhead that or be a spearhead somewhere around the in there, you know. I like that. You're definitely like, like I said, you're like a little worker bee, pushing it forward and something that you believe in, you know? Yeah. Like how you have in politics those like people have volunteer their time and, oh my goodness, that like knock on your door. One day, these two ladies knocked on my door mm-hmm. and I answered the door and I'm like, kill me. And they're like, is your parent home? And I was like, I'm the homeowner. Bish? No. I was like, please leave now. Just just go like i don't i don't give a fuck what you're trying to sell me and that first line i was just like i know i look really young but please fucking get off my fucking sidewalk thanks bye but yeah you're like one of those little like i said a worker be a person progressing what you believe in further and it honestly might pay off my husband apparently bought stock in that or whatever stock or coins, invested basically. in it so yeah. yeah coins like in like 2017 or something i don't know yeah the, the the problem is is that we want like because people want doge to be very similar to bitcoin I'll, a fun fact though I'll, I'll keep this short because we have talked about this in the uh, in the past but um because people like think that doge might be very similar to bitcoin people like to hold on to doge 
And the problem is that mm. although that's good for the people who are like, who, you know, want to invest, uh, because we want Doge to be an actual coin and an actual currency, we actually want Doge to be moving around the market. So we actually yes. want people to spend Doge and get and earn Doge oh, yes. by like selling things and different things like that. So that's what I want to start up is like different ways to different avenues to spend mm. your Doge and like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, if you don't have a currency that people are like moving it and using it to like, ooh, put into their um debits and credits then it's just nothing so i think that's pretty cool you're like a little a small pioneer trying to push forward a new currency i also feel like too like i don't know why but whenever i hear bitcoin i just get such a negative like a negative view on it for some reason maybe it's just like me but it's i don't know how how you feel about that you know like bitcoin it's just like a sour gross kind of taste in my mouth like ooh, you know it's like it's like an Adam and Eve, like Bitcoin's the like devil that's like taunting you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's bad and you shouldn't do it, but like you do it anyways. I don't know. Like maybe that's just me being weird, but it's just like Bitcoin. It sounds so like dirty. It says to me, it has such a weird, bad connotation. As a Dogecoin like profit, I guess you can say. Um, oh, shut up. Okay. You're not a profit. You're a spearhead, a worker bee. Calm as down. As a Dogecoin <laughs> worker bee, uh, I you know, denounce the name of bit of, of Bitcoin. Um, I have like $30 mm -hmm. in Bitcoin, which I think is like about $40 now. Uh, I don't really care much for it. And I think I think it's way too volatile and way too expensive a singular Bitcoin. I think it's way too expensive to ever be feasible as a current as an actual currency. Because the problem with Bitcoin is that people can just sit on it. And it's gone like, if if people just stop spending Bitcoin, it it won't it won't stop moving, and no one no one else can get that True. Bitcoin. But with Dogecoin, because Doge is like basically unlimited, it will always be like moving around the market, just because like it will always be created like somehow or somewhere or something like that at a time. And of course, it's not like created like you know infinitely like inf like infinite speeds, but it's created on a very like set schedule that makes it you know feasible mm -hmm. as a currency again. I just find it crazy that we're now slowly moving into a society where it's like the dollar bill or like the euro or the dinar like maybe now considered old-ish money is like slowly becoming obsolete like what if in like I'm gonna say 20 to maybe 50 years like literally online currency is where it's going to be but i feel like you can't it won't happen because like the government can't regulate it and the government just wants to control all of our lives so it's like true you know. yeah um i don't know <laughs> uh isn't that just crazy though like we've progressed as a society to where it's like bitcoin like people are actually using that to like buy stuff yeah like real tangible items I wonder how many people are actually crazy. using Bitcoin. I don't think anybody's ever going to like, I, I doubt people will use their Bitcoin just because of how expensive it is and how volatile it is. I think that people are more likely mm. to use the Dogecoin rather than the Bitcoin to uh, spend for certain things just because of how like meaningless the Dogecoin is versus yeah. the Bitcoin. And like, the, the again, the best way to uh, to explain it is like the dollar bill. The reason why people are like to will spend the dollar bill even though the price of a dollar bill does fluctuate one doesn't fluctuate like you know nearly as volatile as bitcoin or gold or something like that but also it's very meaningless like the 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 fluctuation is meaningless and the price of a dollar is a dollar right so people are more likely to spend yes. this like feeble currency um but with bitcoin it's so expensive and it can change any moment to meet to be thousands of dollars people aren't going to spend that so we don't want that to happen we want people to start spending their dish and we want Doge to stay stable. <laughs> oh goodness! The the more volatile do a, a coin is, the more likely chance that people will hold on to it. Ooh, I'm, dude, I'm creating my own like, what is it? <clears throat> a philosophy on on coins. I'm gonna write a book about oh. it. <laughs> there you go. I think it's just interesting. Okay, so I just looked up on Google just like how many people are using Bitcoin, and on this weird site called Bitcoin Worldwide, it says. 100 million number of Bitcoin owners, 400,000 number of daily Bitcoin users, 200 million 
how many Bitcoin wallets are there, and then 50, 53 million number of Bitcoin traders. I just think it's interesting how like people can literally create nothing out of something, but as long as a group of people, kind of like a cult, see value in it, like it can carry through into society. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, something that like um, something something uh, an interesting fact is that Dogecoin uh, people spend. I mean, buy, like there is a stat that shows that Dogecoin is spent more than than Bitcoin, which makes sense. But there's an actual stat that says it. Like people like the amount of Doge that's being that's that's currently in circulation is more. I think I'm pretty sure than the amount that's in bi- that, that that Bitcoin is. Hmm. That's really cool. Room. I know. I heard that. Oh, <laughs> someone's having a hot date tonight. Apparently. Ooh. Apparently. They how, said, I'm getting the fuck out. How was your week? How was your day? Okay. So I will say this week has been a roller coaster of emotions. I am obviously still in college and I have a course that I literally do not like. The professor does not give any shits um they've made the due date for four exams and all the like homework assignments for april 19th and they don't care so in fact i don't care everyone in the class i think is like holy fuck this professor doesn't care so we don't care i ended up just doing all four exams and i ended the class with a d so i took a fat personal l um i guess so my like business administration uh program whatever for college you're allowed two d's in the like main courses so i'm just gonna take this fucking fat ass like straight up a d (laughs) and move on with my life i will say this is not like the proudest moment because like obviously like you put in the effort and you that's the grade you get but it's kind of hard when like you really don't care about the topic law in itself is so fucking boring to read let alone comprehend like doing the questions i probably re i read them probably like three times and i read them out loud to myself and maybe it's like my lack of like dictionary word knowledge but i would read some of these questions and just think in my head like what the fuck is this actually saying like why do you have to use like such like intense like class a words i'm more of like a class c i'm the common folk like i'm not trying to be a lawyer in law and i understand the importance of it because Yes, you need it if you're starting like an LLC or like a sole proprietorship or like a joint venture or a corporation. But it's like, babe, I'm just trying to be a fucking office admin, a bookkeeper. And it's like, then I obviously know the fucking ethics and morals of being a bookkeeper. Like, hello. But it's like, I don't give a fuck about what the fuck murder is or literally like, I don't even remember what I kind of learned because I didn't learn fucking shit. So yeah i think this is like the lowest point of my school college experience is like literally taking a d in a class but it's like if this if my professor literally does not care like i really don't care at the end of the day and this is like a class where it's like it's a mandatory class so it's not like oh i could just like withdraw it's like oh i could withdraw but like i'll have to take this class again with the same professor and fuck me fuck you fuck this so (sighs) <sighs> that's just how i feel and i will say though going home last weekend was really nice I really miss my mom um i might cry but i'm not uh, it's just really nice i feel like once you like really leave like a whole state it's um you really learn how to like appreciate and love the time you get to like physically spend with your mom because i'm not one to like always text or call which is really bad but it's like my life is so mundane it's like mom i'm doing the same fucking shit every day so it's like it's really nice to see like weirdly my mom and like her element and just like be with her and like drive her places and spend time with her so that's good i would say like yeah like my week started off really high and then it it dipped down to kind of low because of this fat d Mm. not in 
not as in dick like a d as in like a 60 so (laughs) um yeah i think i'm like just on edge i think i'm just i keep saying this i think in every single fucking episode but it's like i'm now a senior i have maybe two semesters left and my will to finish is probably at like a one on a scale of one to ten like i'm so i'm so over this fucking bullshit i also did record a a little like video clip for one of my classes classes which i might try and just screen record and put on our instagram because i think it's really fucking funny like i have, i'm using the mic that i use for a podcast yeah. and i stretch it out super long i have no emotion or ambition in the yeah. video and i'm talking super super fucking slow and at the end i'm pretty sure i was like thanks for listening to this ted talk because i don't know no one's gonna watch it maybe the professor but it's just like this is weird thank you bye i chose a topic that no one else chose okay bye please give me a good grade because my gpa needs it so uh, that's all that's how my week's been so pretty oh slow emotional roller coaster that's all that's all she said yeah <laughs> not I... her week you'd like yeah that sounds like a very interesting weekend or a week rather my bad. yeah um, I, I i like the highs but yeah the the, the d oof. <laughs> i know i've never ever ever s- mentally have actually been like over oh, kelsey you're gonna actually just settle for a d and you're not really gonna put in any effort so it's like granted you'll get a d because like just you're just over it and this lady doesn't care like even like when i've tried to math which i'm not like super good at like i've at least gotten a c but it's like i've actually like tried to study and like learned and like asked professor questions but this is like if homegirl doesn't care like i'm not gonna care i don't give a fuck about law which is really bad but like i really fucking don't and if anyone's like the college you're supposed to learn it's like yeah when i want to learn about fucking shit i'm interested in not fucking law thanks bye like (laughs) so yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, well, my week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one. Have I? Did I already say that I was like one thirty-five now? Uh, yes, I think you said wait. that in our last episode. Yes. So I'm one thirty-five point six. I think before I was like point four. Ooh. I don't. I actually don't know where I am today. I might be a lot heavier. Um, so that's really good. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying myself uh, trying to get myself like you know beefier um it's it's noticeable it's very it's 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 very subtle that's but it's good. noticeable so that's really good um for some reason don't know why but we're getting I'm getting a lot more confident in my image as well so that's pretty Aww, cool oh I love that yeah exactly. I like that uh and so yeah then there so there's that there's me like eating a little bit more I ran out of delta delta eight I'm kind of upset. Oof. So it, it really sucks because like norm. So <laughs> this really sucks. So the Delta eight helps me eat. It's very, very important to my, my eating regimen. I, I need to smoke it. Like the end, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, but Delta eight is basically a legal substitute for weed. Um, and it's supposed to help me eat. And I use it to help me eat mainly, if not that that's like the only reason uh, also to go to sleep. Uh, but now that I've run out and I've ordered, I've already ordered some new ones. They're coming over, but uh, I'm like right now because I've been eating more. My stomach is like mm. growling because it wants more stuff, but my brain is like Oof. I am not hungry. Like my brain is thinking that it's synonymous to like I'm being full. Like it's basically like saying like yeah. my brain is saying, oh no, you're full. You don't want to. You don't want to eat. And I'm like, no, but I need to eat. <laughs> I need to eat to get bigger, to grow big and strong. <clears throat> but, I need to grow my bones. Yeah, I need to grow my bones. <laughs> and uh, that really, 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 really sucks because it's it's absolutely noticeable. But the other mm. problem is, is that Tuesday I have a blood test. Um, and it, it, they're not going to flag me or anything. It's, it's a blood test for my um, for my life insurance. By the way, I have life insurance. What um, the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. My 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 parents said that uh that I should get life insurance after my aunt died, and I was like, okay. And honestly, what? I was like, I was looking it up online, and people were like, most people were just like, you should probably get life insurance early, but nobody does. And I'm like, okay, I have I have enough money for it, so I might as well. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. 
because uh, the the life insurance that I have also works as a savings account or a, oh, a, a nice. special type of savings two account. Two for one. Mm, say again. I said that's like a nice two for one. Like yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like apparent. Like I will have a, like a pretty big amount of money um, by the time I retire. Um, and the, like, I think the life insurance, like policy kind of has to like end or something like that. I don't really know what it's called, but I'll have a lot of money there and I'm able to dip into the funds too. So that's pretty cool. Um, I that's won't, nice. but I can, um, <laughs> uh, so yeah. So Delta eight, I don't, I don't know how I, how did we get to there? I'm confused. You were talking about how it helps you eat. I would, oh, yeah, okay. It does help me eat. I would say maybe make like a protein shake or something, or even just like a that's shake that you can like sip on. That's what I'm doing right you now. Know? Yeah, that's a yeah. it's a that's a really good idea, and that's that's kind of what I'm doing right now. But it's still really hard um, because I went mm -hmm. to uh, I got a, a bento box. I went to bento, which is like a, a, an Asian restaurant, um, and like I was so hungry, like my stomach was growling. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to eat it, and I took like one bite, and my my stomach was like, all right, you're done. <laughs> it was really good too. Um, <laughs> So, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say so yeah. I uh, Tuesday I have a blood test. I think I might have said Monday, but Tuesday I have a blood test. And so although they won't like dock, they probably won't dock me for it because one they've already asked me if I smoked weed and I said yes. Mm -hmm. But you know, I I don't want to like put more where more there where it doesn't need right. Like I don't want to like oh yeah yeah. 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 So you don't like truly expose yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, exactly. So like, all like if if I if I had Delta, if I still had Delta and it, it would last me through Tuesday, I would still use it, right? But since I don't have any more Delta, I'm like, I might as well then just kind of chill out then <laughs> and wait for Tuesday. Um, although I don't think that the um, that the uh, the cannabinoids will be out of my system completely by Tuesday, especially since I use regularly. Oh, probably not. Um, I do. Th there's probably at least a, a large portion of them that will be uh, flushed out. So let's, you know, <laughs> hopefully that helps wow. my case. I don't think it will do anything, but so that's the reason why I won't smoke because I have weed here. But I don't know. I, I just I might end up smoking because I need to eat. <laughs> I I think I'd rather. <laughs> be thicker than have more money in my life insurance i'm gonna be completely honest with you <laughs> <laughs> i just i don't do you think you're getting like a little too codependent on weed to help you eat like i don't want to say it's, it sounds like it's like obviously good but it's like if you become too codependent mm -hmm. like that might be kind of bad in the future you know where you're like i need to smoke this to eat but mm -hmm. like your body like slowly builds up like immunity to stuff so it's like what if you reach like that plateau of like oh this is like the second time of the day i don't know like i've smoked it and like i'm still not fulfilling this like hunger within me i, do, I don't think that that will happen mainly because the the property of cannabis is that it makes you it makes your mouth uh i think it makes you feel like you're um what is it? Uh, it, it, it like literally just like makes your makes your mouth feel kind of dry, right? And that's the reason why yeah. apparently um, people like that. That's the reason why you tend to like food in your mouth and stuff like that because you're you know mm, yeah. It makes your mouth like wet. Yeah, exactly. Moist. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it gets your like glands going. Yeah, to, like, it makes you basically make it, wet. <laughs> it makes you more attuned to eating mm. stuff. Um, and so I don't think that that will stop like. You know, it will like, you know, the I, you know, maybe later on I need to smoke like for like three hours for it to work or something like that. I don't think that will happen. Um, but I, I kind of agree with you in that, like, I do think that like I am getting a little bit too co codependent, but it's the only mm -hmm. thing that I have right now, because like if I don't have it, mm -hmm. even before I started smoking it, if I don't have it, I just won't eat because, again, the same thing happens in my head. It's not happening. It's not like. This, I'm, this feeling isn't more than it was before. It's the same feeling, which is just, I just don't need to eat right now and I'm not that hungry, even though my stomach is argue, is like yelling at me. Um, so I agree with you, but I don't know any other way because if, if there was like a pill to take, then it, it would be the exact same thing. I would be codependent on the pill as well. Yeah. Have you tried to like, even just like set reminders on your phone like hey yes. like eat a snack or like even journal or write it on like your calendar or like your notes yep. or 
just have something close by to eat or anything because like even today like i woke up at like 10 and probably didn't eat anything until like one but it's only because like my stomach too is just like rumbling and i was like god damn it i like actually need to eat because i could feel my mood just get like super jittery and like annoyed at everything so i ate it's like i think i feel the same though it's like i'm not gonna eat until like i'm absolutely like yeah hungry. basically starving but like <laughs> yeah but you don't want to be like codependent on something to like help you eat absolutely way. i i find this as a situation in which it's almost as if somebody is like um like their leg was fractured and so they are, they're using a wheelchair mm. like i'm i think i kind of need to because like I, I've tried using like reminders and I've tried using like, you know, writing it down and stuff like that. And the yeah. problem with the problem with what me is that not only does my brain tell me, you know, you're not hungry, but my brain also tells me that I'm very busy. And so if, if I'm mm. busy and I see an alarm, yeah. I'm less likely to do anything with that alarm, especially if I think that, you know, that task is not important or less important than the thing that I'm doing. So usually in my brain, work trumps all. I'd rather work than, you know, eat. So that's what usually weed helps me do because I don't like, I don't even like, I don't even uh, go like cook food and then smoke weed. What I'll do is I'll smoke, uh, I'll smoke the weed or the Delta and then I would wait until- And the, then cook. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I'll wait until like my, my, my mouth is like, I want something in my mouth and now I can actually eat. Now like my brain is like, okay, yeah, we can, we can put stuff in my mouth now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, we're ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so- uh, That's beast. Yeah. And uh, the, 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 the good thing about Delta is that like, so again, I think that I, I don't want to be, I don't know if being codependent is necessarily bad. Like, cause technically, especially if it doesn't like affect me negatively. And if it doesn't like require me to like get like fucked up or something like that. So like if the, if, if the case that like the Delta eight, um, I get like too much of a to too high of a tolerance. And so I have to like smoke more and more and more Then yeah, I would, I would like say that that probably is not the good idea, but it doesn't seem like mm -hmm. that's going to be the case. And I, again, I find it like very similar to a, like, again, like a crutch or a, or, or a wheelchair where it's like, I hopefully I'll heal in between the wheelchair. So I don't have to use the wheelchair anymore. But if like my leg is fractured or if it's completely broken and I'll never be able to stand again, I'm going to have to use the wheelchair. I have to be codependent on it, unfortunately. But that's just how it works. Uh, maybe in the future, as I continue to eat, you know, my body will start to become more and more hungry. So it starts to become easier for my um, stomach's like, you know, anger <laughs> for not eating <laughs> trumps my brain's, you know, need to be, to be busy. Um, but right now that's not the case and hopefully of course nothing negatively is happens about it and it doesn't seem like it so i'm kind of okay with it being with a, with being codependent but i can see how that can be wrong so i'm gonna yeah, i'll be a... wary <laughs> <laughs> a little more like cautious -esque. yeah exactly Maybe. yeah i'll be i'll be a right. lot more cautious um, I, 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 st I am, st I'm still pretty cautious, honestly. Like I, yeah. I still like, don't, I don't smoke at work I, 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 at all. And even though I work at home, like what I'll do is I'll always take that, take that hour break. And because of how Delta works, Delta is very, very like, it's much more mild than actual weed. So one, you don't get completely blasted and dumb. Um, and two, <laughs> um, True. it only lasts for about an hour. So like, it's very, very short. So I can actually just like say, hey, I'm going to take a lunch break, smoke some Delta, and then by the time I come back, it'll be like it'll just be the lunch is over, right? So, yeah, it, I I'm very very wary with it. I, I I try to treat it very, um, like I try to treat it like it's something that I shouldn't abuse. Um, yes, but like we'll that. see. Yeah. I, I I don't want. I, I think what I think <laughs> maybe. Hmm? I said more to come on that. Yeah, basically. I think maybe what you're talking about is if like my brain is like, oh, you need to smoke now. Like mm -hmm. that I would not like that. I don't I, I, I don't like. In fact, and this is I guess this kind of goes into another topic. I am the type of person who hates the idea that my brain can tell me what to do. <laughs> and what? it's funny because the brain is me. But 
I, I hate the idea that mm -hmm. my body is like, like trumps whatever I want. And mm, so I will always does, uh... find ways to like make sure that I still have control. Like again, I've, um, you people are people it's, it's, it is said that people are like addicted to sugar. Uh, yes. so what I did was I completely made like left all sugar except for like fruit, like natural sugars, like fruit. Um, I completely moved that out of my diet for like a week because I wanted to see if I could do it. And I did it because I was like, I'm going to do that because I want to make sure that I, I can control it. I'm eating sugar because I want to eat sugar, not because my body is craving mm. and, and must have sugar. And so the same thing happens with like a lot of other things like T to, to be fair, it's kind of ironic because the problem with the hunger thing is because of, you know, that. But I guess the Delta fixes that because although my body is like, oh, no, we can't eat right now. I'm like, fuck you. I do what I want. And so I smoke <laughs> and then I'm like, all right, now we can eat. Um, yeah, I just don't like the idea of my brain telling me what to do or like my body telling me what to do. I, I want to do whatever I want to do, like in whatever way that I want to do it. Um, and I want to make sure that it's because I want to and not because my body is like forcing me to. Like eating meat. I also uh, became a uh, vegetarian for a while because I was like, I'm not addicted to eating meat. So I'm going to show that I'm not addicted to eating meat. <laughs> I guess. Um, I think that is pretty interesting. Do you feel like our brain is almost like... I always come back to this weird thing. Like our brain is like a simulation of like what we're supposed to be doing. But really we want to do what we want to do. Like our own like what's it called like it or it or something yeah like, the id and super ego isn't it super yes ego. yeah i think so yeah um, were, were there three or is there two yeah. oh yeah there's three it's the ego the super ego and the id I think. yes yeah yeah the it isn't like the id like when you truly know who you are or something or is it the, the other way around i have zero clue <laughs> I think I'm pretty yeah. sure that ego is you. Wait, is your norm? I don't remember. Never mind. I'm not even gonna try to act like I know. Goddamn, I don't know. <laughs> I was about uh... to start guessing, and I'm just like, all right, I have no. This is not my forte right now. Like, I do know a lot about philosophy, no but that is... dude, that's like psychology. That's not even philosophy. Okay, that's so kind it's... of philosophy. I think that's more philosophy than psychology. No, I think that that's psychology, dude. Is it? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay, look. Yes. Now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it now. Okay, so let's see. Good old Google. Yes. Okay. So id is our basic impulses, mm -hmm. sex and aggression, seeking immediate gratification. Irrational impulsive operates at unconscious okay, levels. Yeah, so yeah, like it's, you, it's like yeah, so if I'm you stupid. like Yeah. <laughs> so if you like you use <laughs> So if you're looking at a like igloo, the id is at like the bottom of the water that no one sees and then i guess you could say yeah the super ego is in the middle ideals and morals striving for perfection mm -hmm. incorporated from parents becoming a person's uh, becoming a person's you got this conscience conscience <laughs> conscious Fuck me. <laughs> Operates mostly at a pre-conscious level. Okay, so that's like the middle. I can kind of see the ice glue. Ice. I kind of can kind of see the iceberg, but I really don't know. And then, of course, on top is the ego. Okay, and it's executive, exclusive, executive, executive. Sorry, executive, mediating between id impulses and super ego in uh, uh god damn it in uh this is so sad something i don't know testing reality rational operates mainly at conscious level but also at pre-conscious level so yeah our conscious level ego pre-conscious level super ego and our unconscious level which is the id Oh. So it's like a weird Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but kind of condensed in a way. Okay. Yeah. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let me. I remember my sure. brother talking about that with me one time. Like everything, a, a lot of my like knowledge stems from my brother just one day like coming up to me and having a discussion on it. Because my brother is, is a very like 
learned person. I don't know if that's a, even a word, like the way to use that, but he likes to learn a lot. Um, he likes to like look up stuff a lot and like research and stuff like that, which I technically have. I, I do the same thing, but I do it in a very more like busy way where it's like I'm, it, I mm -hmm. always research to do something. And if I'm not doing something, then I won't research. Um, he will just research. So he'll be like, huh, I wonder how fucking whales move if they were on land or some shit. I don't know. Uh, uh, He's that random person that's like, I know how whales move. Yeah, Do exactly. You know? And you're like, no, not really, but thanks. Honestly, I love my, I have so many small factoids that like, I, I swear, like it's almost impossible for me to drop a conversation. Like if, if I were like on a date or something like that, like I would, I just always have like things to talk about. Like, did you know that, you know, A-E-T-H-E-R, you know, that's, con that is pronounced ether. I'd probably look at you and be like, no. <laughs> I mean, I w I, okay, to be fair, I'm not going to like sit down in conversation and like immediately be like, hey, did you know that A-E-T-H-E-R means ether? Like, <laughs> No, no, you're opening it's, line after a handshake. <laughs> I will, of course, I will fit it in, uh, but that's what she said. Um, uh, but yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that's what she said. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I, uh, I know so many factoids, and I, I love I love knowing factoids. It's the it's it's the coolest thing in the world. Honestly, it's just because like, it just means that like wherever I am there's something I know about like somewhere <laughs> like True. I can look at something and be like hey there's a fact about that that is a really nice quality I just don't know where you put that all in your brain to remember that like I don't either <laughs> I don't I I don't know how your brain is just like putting that into little categories and like for you to remember i will say though like even though I don't remember like where random weird facts I can definitely remember like standout days in my head if you ask me within a allowed a time period i will definitely be able to be like oh yeah i remember that day it was this and that and it was sunny or cloudy out and we did that and that and you wore that and that but other than that random facts no over my head i'd just be like that's cool okay yeah <laughs> are you gonna murder me now <laughs> yeah let me know yeah it, honestly being being a female is 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 it's it's so strange looking at a female's um females a a girl's like perspective a woman's a woman's perspective a woman female girl's perspective or like experience there is as like coming from a male's point of view because a male boy man um, point of view. Uh, <laughs> Thing it, son, child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, simply because like it's one of the, those things is just like oh sometimes when I was at when I was living at a um, at another apartment complex, um, I would walk across the street to Seven Eleven or was it I could never. It was like it was like Wawa. There it is. Um, I, I walk I walk across the street to like Wawa at night. I'm just like one day it's like eleven o'clock at night. I'm just like you know what I'm, I'm gonna go and Alex. get something to at Wawa and I just walk. I could never. But as a like I can tell as like you know, a girl that's probably not what you want to do. <laughs> oh yeah. hell no. Yeah, dude. Like people... even even just going to Best Buy and buying like a little like weird laptop sleeve thing for my new laptop. Okay, I walk out of Best Buy and I just have it in my hand, but this guy like popped out of nowhere and I was literally, I looked at him and I got weird vibes. So I just <laughs> beelined it to my car and then I was like, fuck no, I don't know what your intentions are. Even if you're just going to the store, like, uh, no, thank you. I'm good. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to my car safe and sound. Yeah. I could never walk across the street at fucking 11 at night. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm also not the type of guy to walk up to someone in a setting that has nothing to do with meeting people, right? Like, mm. at a bar, I feel like it's a lot more it's a lot more okay to walk up to somebody and say, "Hey, how's it going?" But at like a, you know, the Best Buy or the Walmart, I'm always like, like I, I'm just like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> like I'm Arms not gonna up. try to ruin your day or anything like that. <laughs> True. Yeah. Like literally same. Like even 
I feel like employees, this is probably so weird too, but I guess this also lends like the male slash female perspective on like how we live our life. Even if I'm at the grocery store and a worker is like, which is usually mostly men, because I like to mm-hmm. grocery shop, like when all the old people shop, like yeah. before one, because after one, I just don't like leaving my house at all. But anyways, so I go pretty early and it's usually like young men or just like the men in general they'll be like oh how's your day going or like find everything all right and i'm just like oh yeah thank you so much but i'm like you've literally said that to none of the people passing by like why the fuck are you saying it to me yeah but then i also do find like this weird like because one time i actually had to ask a man i was like hey like could you reach like a customer and Mm -hmm. i was like hey like could you reach this for me? And it was like literally on the top fucking shelf and I could not reach it and I was not trying to find an employee to get it. Yeah. And a man was just standing right there that was tall enough, even if it was a woman, but I was just like, hey, could you get this down for me? I literally cannot reach it. And he got it down. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And we moved on with our day. So it's like yeah. a weird, like, what are your intentions? What's happening? Yeah. But also I need you to get this down for me. So like, get it down. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> See, my problem is that I think that there have been several times that, like, I'm hit on, right? By, like... Really? Yeah. But the problem is, is that because we're not in a setting, in my opinion, mm. to do anything about it, I yes. always just kind of, like, okay, bye. <laughs> like, I try yeah. not to, like... because I'm one, gonna leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One, I could have just... I could I could honestly be, like, you know, getting the wrong hints, of course. That's a, and that, that's a big, oh, yes. like, thought in my yes. head. So that's already one. Two. We know your ego is at like 100. So yes, my ego is 100 when it comes to talking about myself, but not when it comes to talking to people, I guess you can say. Mm. Um, Okay. 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 Yeah. And so like, uh, so so like, I also don't want to like a, a, like in a way, like a chick to like walk up to me who like, you know, compliments what I'm wearing and like wants to have a conversation I don't want to then like go to that like jump to like being a uh, or trying to like go out with the conclusions Hmm? like to the conclusions like yeah yeah i don't want to yeah i don't want to jump to conclusions that like oh maybe she's hitting on me too fast because i i don't want someone to feel like oh all they are is like like i guess you could say like a piece of meat or like oh i'm like yes this person only wants to talk to me because you know they want to get in my pants or something like that like i Mm -hmm. never want somebody to feel like that and so, like, I always just end up just then going to, like, sub-zero. I won't flirt. I won't do I won't do fucking anything. I'll just say, <laughs> yeah. And I'll, like, Hi. I'll continue conversation, of course. But that'll that'll be it. Um, there was this one time this chick walked me out. Um, and she started talking about her cat. I forgot his what? name. What? Oh, it, it, uh, it was actually Dexter, just because we talked about uh, this movie, Dexter. I love that show. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. It's a pretty, pretty good show. Yeah, I said movie. Um... Yeah, so we were talking about Dexter and stuff like that. And then, like, uh, like she walked me to the car, which, like, of course, honestly, could complete, complete, is, is her job. So <laughs> I didn't think about anything like that. Um, okay, true. But after that, it was just kind of like, okay, bye. And I just went into my car. Yeah. And personally, I think that the way that the conversation was going, I think I could have honestly asked for her number and she would give it to me. But mm, I was afraid that she yeah. would like think you're look like down about that. Especially if you're on yeah. if you're on if you're at work. I would never like hit on somebody at work. I'm, <gasps> it's just so hard. Oh, uh, okay. I think this also too lends to another male versus female perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when I worked at one of my retail jobs, it was like at the bougiest mall ever, and I was selling sunglasses. And before I met my husband, a lot of guys literally asked me out as i was working they'd just be like hey like i think you're really pretty or whatever yeah. like here's my number and i'd be like okay <laughs> and of course i'm like underage and they'd like take me out to mm. get drinks which is probably like really sketchy and like why the fuck are you like letting it a like 19 year old slash almost 20 year old whatever like drink it. like why are you buying her drinks but like mm. yeah like they would just like ask me out it'd be like maybe like one out of like obviously like 20 or 50 people mm. but like when that did happen i'd be like oh my god that like that actually really did like boost my self-confidence so i'd be like oh my god like i'm actually really pretty at work even though yeah. i'm like working in retail like i'm trying to sell you something that has no 
really personal monetary value it doesn't really help you do anything i know it's just like markers bridging that gap of the ideal beauty standard mm. but anyways it's like wow like this person really thought i was beautiful even though i'm like in dressed in all fucking black trying to sell you these like 250 dollar yeah. ray-bans like let's fucking go like hell yeah okay but yeah so i think that's interesting i, I think it literally depends on like who's on the receiving end and who is the like literally the sender and where the setting is so yeah. i think that's interesting how you said that about like your grocery adventure and how mm. i'm like yeah you store great town guys would ask me on and be like fuck yeah let's go <laughs> uh, yeah i i i don't like one one thing is that always remember that guys love compliments like they will take a compliment to a, to the grave with them because they don't hear it very often. Like we don't hear compliments at all, and we don't we we never hear compliments from girls at all, really, unless it's like our our significant other, and not a lot of people have significant others, so we don't have a lot of validation. And so when we hmm. do end up getting validation, it's like, oh my god, she said my fucking shoes are pretty. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I guess I was I was I was hooking that on to like. I, I kind of hate it how, and of course, like it's, it's, you know, society, but I hate it how I am expected to talk to somebody first and like ask them out first, especially in a setting that oh, again yeah. is not like a meeting I setting. I think that's so dumb. Um, I, I feel like, and so here I'm about to say some stuff that like, you know, my ego is coming back, but what I've decided to do to alleviate that is I've decided to work on my, my self image to be like, I'm going to make myself so attractive that okay. chicks just want to walk up to me and ask me questions and ask me and ask me out stuff. And you will say, that's probably not going to happen. But you've never I was seen not me try, say that. try hard. I was going to say, I feel like now more than anything, people are so just like, socially awkward and then they'll be on instagram like i tried to ask the guy out but like i just got too nervous and put some weird background yeah. song in it and i'm like <laughs> just fucking ask that motherfucker out or just like you said like males like validation everyone likes fucking any validation yeah. i love it when my husband's like oh my god you look really beautiful today or oh my god literally like Even? thank you for doing the dishes <laughs> or thank you for cooking dinner i'm like thank you so much i love you but yeah it's like even if like a girl like sees you and she's like oh my god he's really cute but i'm like nervous it's like bitch strap on those motherfucking big girl boots go up to him be like hey i really like your fucking glasses or like oh what what shoes you, are that um, or those are like what brand out. of shirt are you wearing you like, have to spell ask it out for <laughs> he's not gonna pick <laughs> up on that because here's what his, here's what the guy's gonna think if you come up so one of course the compliments are going he's going to love the compliments okay but without asking him out like if you just go up and like compliment him and just start a conversation the majority of guys now a lot of guys like uh, there's a there's a there's a, uh, a large minority of guys that will like of course just like immediately ask you out or whatever but i would say that the majority of people of guys are very like i don't i kind of don't want to like you know jump like jump to conclusions and stuff like that mm -hmm. so they'll be like True. is she complimenting me because she wants to ask me out or is she just complimenting me because mm. she just likes my shit and so it's just like like my like a mom compliment yeah exactly like, like a mom girlfriend compliment exactly or, yeah and so it's just kind of mm. like should i should i take this chance or no i don't want to like offend her in any, yeah. or any way um but i will say even if you do get rejected by the guy he will fuck them love that he will take that experience <laughs> to the grave being like somebody found me attractive enough to walk up to me and ask me out I would True. love that. Like, I mean, I, I that has happened to me before, and I it I I sometimes think about that. I'm like, somebody liked me hmm. without me ever talking to them, which is dope. Aww, <laughs> like, <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, I like that though. If you ever, everyone loves validation and compliments. Yeah, people. exactly. But like, yeah, if if you ever like see a guy and you're like, hey, maybe you should ask him out. You should you should go for it, honestly, because like yes. I don't know. We only live once. You, well, yeah, you only live once. One, two. You're probably never going to see that person again, especially if it's like True. Not a college campus or something like that. And if you're mm -hmm. at UCF, you're never going to see that person ever again. Um, <laughs> uh, Bye, bitch. Uh, and, and and three, it just 
I feel like I feel like a, a lot of guys need to be like kind of told that they're actually attractive a little bit more. Of course, not like yeah. inflating their ego to where they want to like, you know, they feel like they could get anybody, but just like enough to make them happy. Because mm -hmm. the last time I was complimented, I do not remember ever. <laughs> I don't remember in the past no. two or three years that I've ever been complimented like away from my own significant other. My significant other mm -hmm. compliments complimented me like a fucking like insanely, and I'm just kind of like, oh really? And it's insane because oh, thank you. When your when your significant other does compliment you, and you just never and you never hear compliments everywhere else, you also you kind of get imposter syndrome where it's like, is she just saying that just because like we're dating? Like, will she ever mm -hmm. will she say that if like we were not dating? And technically the answer is no, but I don't think it's because that's they don't find it attractive. It's just probably because they don't want to talk to you because you know you're not dating, but. You, you get like this imposter syndrome because you're just like oh is it like does she actually is that like really my, for me my, yeah. yeah like my chest or something like that or is it just like them just being a significant other and saying good things because they know that i want to mm -hmm. hear good things but if they hear it more often then those then those compliments will be more genuine will feel more like oh thanks so much yeah thank you for you know re saying that or, or saying that again or, or like you know um yeah just saying that again and, and like you know, strengthening my feeling of like, you know, uh, love for myself. Your feelings, yeah. Or like, just like feelings towards me. I definitely like see where you're coming from, but I feel like even if like, maybe in the future, if like you do find like someone and they compliment you on like the same thing, maybe it's just cause like, they really like that aspect of you. So I wouldn't take like it as like a mundane compliment, more like a, I just really like this about you. So I'm just gonna yeah. always compliment you on it. But I feel like to like being married, <laughs> it's like we've been married for in July. It will be literally, it's gonna be 18, 18, 20. It will be like four years, which I think is like insane. Nice. I, yeah, I know. It's like, thank you. I don't know mm -hmm. why I said, I know. I don't know. What the fuck am I saying? I need to stop saying I know Congrats. too. Like how you see, um, I think it's crazy. But after even like almost four years of just like being together and like living together and loving each other, it's like, okay, I've heard like kind of the same compliment. And I know like my husband obviously loves me, but I think just even just spicing it up a little, nothing crazy, but it's mm. like sometimes he'll leave me like really cute like notes in the morning when I wake yeah, that's up. Adorable. This is so cheesy, but it's like I literally love him so much, and I just keep him like ma but you magnet need to do the magnetized same thing to him. on like our. F no, I do it to him too. Good. Like if I feel like really just like I love you so much, like I'll do it too. But it's like I love reading those little notes from him. Like they kind of make me tear up, especially like when he leaves. Good. I'll like literally. <laughs> oh, this is so lame, but like I'll literally just like read them and start tearing up because I'm like, wow, Good. someone loves me enough to like write me this cute little note at like 5:30 or 6:30 a.m. Like mm -hmm. who fucking does that? Like this is like true love so i think too just finding uh someone who not only compliments you just like before you like the first interaction is like i feel like maybe overall somebody whoever it is whoever's listening if you're single or looking for someone if you see someone shoot your shot like for real go up to them yeah. compliment them but be very direct towards in the in the beginning say Oh, I really like your shoes or something. Yeah, exactly, and then kind of yeah. keep the conversation very light but flowing towards them and be like, oh, hey, by the way, this was like a really great conversation. Like, here's my number. Yeah. Because like no one's going to fucking be like, oh, what's your number? If you're initiating the conversation, you need to be the one to ask for their number Basically, and yeah. their name. Yeah, yeah, because can you can't just be like, I'm waiting for them. No, babe. Yeah. You initiated a conversation. You need to ask for the number. You need to follow through. No Snapchat bullshit. Yeah. Get their fucking number or else it's nothing. If they're like, oh, what's your Snapchat? Leave immediately. Walk yeah. away. Go back to your car like Alex yeah. did and just go. Book it home, baby. Yeah. Book it home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I just, I don't know. It's because like just be because you don't hear that compliment often like even if your significant other says that i feel like no matter what there'll always be that question in your mind now I, I think that it might overrule just because you're like oh but you know she loves me so that's all that matters um but i do think that 
because we don't like for sure because we don't hear it often it just feels kind of like it's, it's just so like foreign this person is obligated to say that in a way like of course mm. they're not but in a, in a way you feel that because they're your significant other so it's like oh yeah you're kind of forced to say that you're kind of forced to look at me and you don't have to say that type of thing but like in no way do we feel that way like outside of a relationship when 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 you're when you're old when your relationship is over you get no more compliments you don't feel good it's at true, all though. <laughs> and also you don't feel loved if somebody comes up if a, if a if a girl comes up to me to ask me out that is huge points for me because I love take notes. <laughs> I love very dominant like women. Like I now to be fair, I like I like them because I'm very dominant. Like and I need somebody who can push and pull the same way that I can because I, again I'm we've said that in Latin, like the previous episode that I'm kind of yes. hard to handle. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> and so like I need somebody who is able to give what I what I send out. And so like somebody who is able to come up to me and actually ask me out and stuff like that, that is already showing chops. <laughs> like you, you've probably like gotten, just by doing that, you've gotten like 10 times more attractive to me. <laughs> All right, so whoever is listening to this now or in the future, if <laughs> Alex is still single, yeah. you have to be a dominant Yeah, just, yeah, d just woman. fucking go in. <laughs> and also don't fake dominance. Because that's what my previous oh, significant other okay. did. Okay. Like, if you have to, like, force yourself to do that, then I don't think it, it's probably not for you. Um, oh, for me, that is. Like, we're, we're specifically talking about for me. For other for other guys, it's probably okay because they're probably not looking for someone as dominant. But me, I need somebody who's very, very dominant. So if you fake, if you have false dominance, what's going to end up happening mm. is that we're going to be in a relationship. It will show. And I like I'm basically going to steamroll over you and I don't like that. And so I will probably end up like mm -hmm. breaking up with you because of that. Cause I hate steamrolling over people. I like it, it's, I know that I have a, like a, uh, um, I have a very strong do you have personality. Like, like, hmm? Yes. I was going to say, do you have like a control issue in regards to like personality? I don't have a control issue. I would, I never control people. In fact, uh, my problem with my last significant other was just that they, they just wouldn't do things on their own and i'm just like please do things on your own like mm. like that that's the yes. that's what Have i mean by hobby. dominance because like they they would ask me after living in my house for over a year if they could use the kitchen and that's the most like and then i would get like very like duh like what when yeah, have i ever like, said what the you, fuck yeah when have i ever said you can't use the kitchen what the hell <laughs> and then they got very defensive excuse me because they were like, oh, you're mad at me. And I'm like, I'm not fucking mad at you. Well, I mean, now I'm like frustrated because we're arguing about this. But why would you not be able to use the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like situations like that where like I think a dominant person will react way better. Well, one, they just wouldn't ask and they would just go use the kitchen, which is what I want. <laughs> um, and two or yeah. And, and two, it's just like they wouldn't, you know, feel taken aback by my kind of like duh <laughs> like you know that, that that my response it wouldn't be taken back too far by my response and they wouldn't be like oh you're upset i'm not upset it's really hard to make me upset i'm very very chill like when, when i say that i'm hard to handle i'm just hard to handle personality like like person is personality wise the best because i'm not like i'm not mean or anything and i'm not very i'm not very uh... like forceful about anything but my per my personality can easily overshadow your own so i will like oh no talk and I overbear you yeah, I would say your personality to me is more of a like, obviously like we're not in a like romantic relationship, mm -hmm. no, but like obviously friend level. Mm -hmm. But like I'd say we're like pretty good friends, like we talk mm -hmm. about a lot of weird shit obviously. I'd say your personality is more of a, like you're that person, you know when people have that saying like, they walk in the room and their smiles like the brightest and it like lights up the room <laughs> i feel like your personality is low-key like that but also like you could just talk forever I and ever. you remind me of like my dead grandpa like he could talk literally forever <laughs> and ever and ever about literally something like you could not shut this man up yeah. about literally anything positive negative whatever he had in his mind he would literally just talk forever and ever and ever and nothing's bad about it it's just like sometimes you gotta know like my man you gotta just like 
slowly roll a little. Yeah. So I think it's just more of a like you just like to talk a lot, which like a lot Actu of people do. And I think I think also too maybe you're not looking for someone that's dominant. Maybe because that's a very heavy word. I would say maybe even more of somebody that's like independent that can like I think independence well, okay. is a better word. To be fair, for. independence I think is what I was describing. But also I do want somebody dominant because mm. like I like enjoy... over you or like you want two dominant personalities. Yeah, I, I want two dominant personalities. Like I want like I like the idea of being able to shoot shots at, at like at each other. Like being able to like call somebody a dumbass and I then call me a dumbass. I don't think dominance is the like right word dominant. because like my husband and I are like that. Like we will, we will both be like fuck you to each other like literally i don't know what like flick each other off mm -hmm. i don't think it's dominance i think it's more of just like a fun playful way of being able to accept like when i say no fuck you or fuck also you. taking control like it's of just the situation. funny yeah like I, I i do want like okay so that too so i i, I kind of i guess i agree with you I'll, I'll 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 take the um take the fall on that one I, I think that it is more of like a fun friendly type of deal although again my 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 uh my ex uh they just they could not take that even though i like you're just kidding mm. and stuff like that but um also like i want i want someone who is not afraid to make shit up themselves and i guess i guess that maybe uh uh um um independent as well but like like i want you to be able to say hey like we're going out to thinker. the store today because i i you know what i'm gonna we're gonna go on an adventure let's go like because i do the same thing but you can't expect me to do that all the time in fact so something that i wanted to, to talk about was so you say that i talk a lot and the funny thing is is that one of the one of the big things that my exes like the big complaints about my about me and my exes is that my exes don't uh i am very uh stoic when i'm when i'm uh, like my my normal self is very stoic i'm not i, I actually don't talk a lot actually <laughs> i only talk a lot when i'm started but if i'm not started then i don't talk at all <laughs> so so like i won't if you were in my room if you came to my room and you like sat down and then no we, we didn't have any conversation i would never talk to you i would just oh I'll, of course i'll say hi and I'm like you know all that but we just i wouldn't talk a lot at all but until you need somebody you, like, to start the conversation ask, yeah. when, when there's a conversation then i like you know i will start and i'll start yes to you'll pop off yeah um but th so one yeah that, so that's the case so it, pe people being independent is very important to me because like i also need i need my space for sure unfortunately i am very like although uh i don't really did, didn't we like say something about what my love language was I don't remember. Mm, I don't think so, but maybe for that next episode, we yeah, can next like, episode take a we'll test do with that. on our like own love languages. Yeah. I think that'd be interesting. But um, but yeah, like, but because I'm so stoic, you need to be very independent to be able to deal with that. Because if, if you're very dependent on me to always be around, like always be like very um, touching and very like around you all the time, that's just not me. So you you have to be able to chill out on your own and like um oh, and yes. just be okay with silence honestly um or like moderate silence like you know having music in the background and just chilling out and not having to oh yeah always work i totally agree somebody. yeah but yeah that, that's, really that's think, what i mean by dominance. i don't think that's like a quality i think that's more of just like when you know you found somebody that mm -hmm. you love like you can literally sit in like the exact same room and just like watch the tv even if no one's watching because you're both on your phone but like you said like you can both sit in silence but you know like you both love each other i don't really think that's like a uh, certain word you can use but sure. it's like when you find that person like you will fuck you know i think my mm -hmm. rule of thumb is like if you think you found the person go on a road trip but the road trip has to be over eight hours it has to be like a two-day road trip because Literally, the first trip my husband and I took together was on my spring break, and we drove all the way from Florida to Pennsylvania, mm. and we stopped at I think uh, like North Carolina and Washington, and then we made it to Pennsylvania. So it's like it was a it was a trek, and we were in a car together. So Alex, if you think you found somebody. <laughs> post pandemic go on a eight hour plus road trip and see how you feel after I'm if you guys fight at least one time 
it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm actually down to do that. Like one thing was that like uh, me and my ex, we actually ended up getting into uh, a fight when I went down to uh, to South Florida. And then on the drive Oof. up, it was a very it was a very silent car ride, Eesh, and I was very very suck. upset. And they were like, "Are we like mm. are you like are you gonna break up with me?" And I'm like, "Please stop talking." Yeah, no, because <laughs> it was their fault. Fucking like, car. They did some dumb shit, and I was oh, I was like at the fucking edge of my like at the end of the fucking edge or whatever. I don't remember yeah. the, at the end of my rope or whatever. Uh, it was so bad. It was so annoying, and I'll, I'll tell that story later, like in another podcast. But it was very, very frustrating. And uh, again, it was it was one of those that like that thing, those things that like if there was a more if it was a more dominant person, then they would have just talked about it. Like they would have just been like, okay, let's talk okay. about this. Because that, that's that's the type, again that's the type of person I am. Uh, if we have beef, you will know. You will always yeah. know if I have a problem with you because I will tell you. You can even ask my roommates if something happened. Like if like, you know, one, one thing that recently happened was um, I, I, I like to pick up the cat. And so one time I was in the kitchen and I picked up the cat and uh, my uh, my roommate like kind of yelled at me and he, he he sounded very, very agitated. He was like, stop picking up the cat over the counter. And I was like, one, I'm not even over the counter. But two, why are you so fucking why are you being a dick? Um, and then so that mm -hmm. happened and it, it was kind of like a it was kind of like a fire. Like it was just like we didn't fight like it wasn't like a long winded fight, but it was just kind of like that kind of exchange. And then mm -hmm. I went down, I went, I, I like put the cat down. I went to my room, got set up for business for like my work and stuff like that. And I went back into his room and I said, okay, let's talk about this. This is how I felt. I think that you were being kind of a dick, but actually I also think that I, it, I was wrong to pick up the cat, like in the kitchen. I could actually stop to uh, stop doing that. And he was like, yeah, I blah, blah, blah. So that's that person I am. I will always tell you what my problem is <laughs> because I, I want it like. I want it out in the open and I want it to be talked about. So I think that a dominant person in my in my eyes is somebody who would do very something very similar, who they would like, if they were in the situation that, you know, I'm talking about, like in a very quiet car ride, they would rather just like either be completely silent as well. But technically since it's their fault, they would probably just talk it out. They would say, okay, my bad <laughs> like this is this is how the reason this is what i was thinking this is what you were thinking like let's like let's talk about this rather than being like in the corner of a car like crying about whether or not i'm going to yes. break up with you like, <laughs> that sucks <laughs> it's just like god it damn it was so annoying <laughs> it was so I, it was, it's i just can't <laughs> like you're like i'm going like 80 miles per an hour 80 miles Let's not talk about we're fucking breaking up in this fucking small ass <laughs> car. Also, I want you to maybe by our next podcast look up another word for dominance because I don't what's like your, how what's you're your saying idea of that. I don't okay, understand. Yeah, what, I feel like what, do you, okay, what is a dominant to person me, to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, to me, a dominant person is somebody that just always talks over you, wants to be in control all the time, has no regard for your input. I feel like you're hmm. looking for somebody that is just like independent but can freely speak their mind and also can banter back and forth without there being any feelings hurt like you can say yeah. to each other fuck you fuck I, you I, I guess, but yeah. then be like i love you so like it's not a real fuck you it's just like fuck you like a friendly fuck yeah. you you know I, I guess i guess you're right that like my because yeah my definition of dominance is not somebody who will always do that my definition of, of, of like dominance is that somebody who who can and and probably will like i want somebody to not mm -hmm. be afraid to talk over me i don't like to i don't yes. like to talk over people but i do like to talk and i have adhd so i uh i have the problem with which is like i like to interrupt people a lot which is really really bad but it's adhd so i can't really help it um and so like i want somebody who is just comfortable with like talking over me. I don't like to, I don't want any of that like, yes. you feeling like, you know, I'm being like, I'm overshadowing you. I need you to be, do again, dominant, like be able to like stand up for yourself and stuff like that. Um, yeah, th that's what I find dominant. Like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that somebody who is dominant would probably, because you gave description of somebody who I would say is very, who's very abusive, but, and they are very dominant and abusive, but I don't think that they're abusive because they're dominant. I think they're just, mm -hmm. you know, abusive because they're abusive and they also happen to be yeah. very dominant. Hmm. Like, I guess dominant to me means that they are ready to dominate a situation if they wanted to. I guess that's Okay, I like that I mean. better. Yeah. I like that better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, of course, I don't <laughs> want somebody who's like constantly doing that. But I, of course, I want somebody who is not afraid to do that. Who's like, 
Also, also yes. Have a hobby, <laughs> or have something oh, yeah, that you're for interested sure. in, please. I it it <laughs> it sucks when your significant other doesn't really have a doesn't have a hobby because it's just kind of like because. I'm the type of person who, if you're in my house, I want to entertain you. I don't want you to be bored. And so for somebody who does not have a hobby and who does like yeah, nothing, like I I have- They to... rely on you as entertainment Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, babe, no, fucking play <laughs> video games. Uh, go yeah, take do a walk. Something. Yeah. Be to fitness-ish, <laughs> like at a moderate level to where it's like, that's a, not like, you know, like, that takes over your whole life and then you're like slowly forget about your partner but like mm -hmm. you can each take breaks and like do that i think yeah we talked about that in like the this is i guess now our new third episode unless you're gonna release that or this is our third slash fourth how like i can it's important for like in a relationship to have hobbies because like you need to like have an escapism and fulfill your own needs yeah 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 exactly yes yeah uh, yeah that's 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 my that's that's kind of my want for a significant, a significant other just be like and and that's why i'm being very patient that's something that like i'm also trying and I'm, i think i'm doing a good job at it like i'm trying to be very very patient because i know for a fact that it's hard to find someone the, the person that i'm looking for the person that mm -hmm. probably fits like super well with me is probably a needle in a haystack because it will probably be hard to find a, a girl who's very independent and dominant who's like like very like um who has like very similar interests that i do and like again who has like who's very very opinionated i love opinionated people <laughs> please opinion like be opinionated you're it's, it's <laughs> completely welcome it's completely welcome to disagree with me i love disagreements um i don't like i'm not a person who yells in an argument um i just love i i do love like discussing things and talking about just different perspectives on like politics and different things like that of course uh, given how how divided politics are now that probably it'd probably be hard to find somebody who's on the complete who's on the other high aisle for me just simply because of how divided that aisle is nowadays. Um, but in like years ago, I think that I would be would have been able to find somebody who's across the aisle from me um, because of, I feel like years ago was a lot closer, like several years ago, not just like, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just like, I forgot I was going that, but yeah. <laughs> we kind of define your term as what you consider someone who's dominant is a trait that you're looking for in a future significant other which i think was pretty interesting and cool, absolutely you know yeah absolutely absolutely i think for our okay so for our next episode we should each take the like a love language test and i guess i'll just send you a link to when i find that we can both take yes let's talk about that and then do you have hulu i do not have hulu oh my god damn it okay, it's fine <laughs> i think we should also to try and like what do you have like like netflix i have netflix okay good maybe we could find something like on netflix oh to like watch and talk about or something that like we watch and then we could like kind of dissect Ooh. it and like talk about it i think that'd be kind of fun i think that'd be fun actually too yeah we should we should or find even something. like a show or like something yeah i think we should oh dude if this what do you was, think so i don't want to read a book but we could do something kind of like no. a book club that but like a movie Ooh. club Ooh. like a movie club yeah and then we what we can do is like at the end of every episode we can say that what we're gonna watch and then we all watch it and so people who come from previous episodes will have watched it as well and so we'd be able to talk about it and stuff like that oh yeah yeah, yeah. like um a movie for a movie recap or something yeah exactly that would be I like that actually pretty fun i think that that would also like make people more likely to uh i mean stay and also click because like and of course we do have to deal with like spoiler alerts and shit like that but i think that because of the nature of the idea we just have to like put like a spoiler alert at the beginning of like all the videos and be like yo we talk about movies for a reason like like we're gonna be talking about movies or whatever I think that'd be really cool. I'm so down for that. 
and maybe what else what else do we like it would just be movies and like shows and stuff that we'd be able to talk about yes i and of course let's yeah. see let's see i'm just gonna do a quick little google search on like some movies like should we keep it like should we just like should we each pick our own movie like one uh, episode i pick a movie then the next episode you pick a movie oh yeah we can do that we can yeah we can go back and forth i think that'd be pretty fun okay so what i would like us to watch before our next recording is this movie on netflix called malcolm and marie it has zendaya and mm -hmm. uh let me see who else it is sorry okay so it has zendaya and john david Washington. i used to have such a gigantic crush on zendaya is this zendaya or zendaya if she's american it's, it's probably zendaya but if she is was is it? <laughs> I I think it's Zendaya. Zendaya is an American actress. Where are, where are, are her parents from? That's the question. That'll probably help uh, with the X, whatever it's called. Oh, it's, yeah, it's Zendaya. Zendaya, okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Before our next episode, we will do a love language test and also do a link of one that I find that we both take. And we will watch the movie called Malcolm and Maria. Do not Google it because, you know, that will sometimes ruin the yeah, try, uh, experience for you, understand. you know? Mm -hmm. oh, do send me the name of the, of the show, though. But everybody watch Malcolm and Maria. Yes, it's Malcolm and Maria. It's on Netflix. It's That's the one with the controversy, a... right? It's what? That's the one with the, with the controversy, right? I don't think so. So the there because like the Zendaya, controversy did was it uh, was it directed by Zendaya? Zendaya? I don't think so. Oh, okay, then maybe I don't it wasn't. Know. Okay, well there, there's one that Zendaya is in that like there's a controversy because uh her, the she looks very young comparatively to the um to the guy that she's dating in the movie and so people thought that like the age difference and the age what? gap looked pretty what weird. if that is this yeah like i oof uh, probably let's let's we're pro probably not gonna talk about that <laughs> uh, I, i'm gonna we'll wait to talk about stuff like that let's digress but, let's digress I'm yeah let's digress <laughs> but yeah there's just a controversy or it could be that. euphoria i don't know euphoria is kind of like she plays a high schooler so um, no 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 it's, it wouldn't it wouldn't be euphoria okay, she would be a yeah she i don't think she would be a high school student in that but dude i used to have a gigantic crush on zendaya when she when she I was know, she's on like super Disney. fucking hot like yeah she would she's very attractive very very attractive but you want to know who I had like the lar oh you you want to know probably one of the reasons so there are several reasons why I like the type of girls that I like and it's probably is because of like the, the the type of media and content that I consumed the majority of the girls that I always liked were the ones who were very again very like um you know independent and stuff like that one of my one of my crushes when I was younger was Alex Russo in uh, Wait Wizards of Waverly Place. Ew! Have you ever seen that? Selena Gomez. Yes, yeah, Selena Gomez. Are you fucking serious? She was like a sim to fucking Justin Bieber. Oh my god. Well, that that did that did kind of annoy me because like Justin was very young, but yeah, because Justin was underage. I'm pretty sure, which kind of fucking creeped me out. But whatever. Mm. Um. But to be fair, I, w I was more attracted to Alex R Russo rather than uh, Selena Gomez. And nowadays oh I have God. a little less attraction to Selena, <laughs> Selena Gomez. Wow. Although if she you know. ever decided, hey, although I'm pretty sure she's a very, um, I don't know if, I don't know if they call them free spirits, but she's very like, what is it? I think I've heard that she's very like free spirited and very like open and stuff like that. Meaning that like 
she's not i actually don't know how to explain it and i don't really care to uh but if she ever came to me and was like yo what's up you know i'm not gonna let that program me a website thanks <laughs> I'm, I won't let that. I will not let that uh, opportunity escape me. I would absolutely take up on that opportunity, because uh, yeah. Although, how wow. old is she actually? She's probably like twenty-eight, probably. Uh, oh, Alex, you think she's twenty-eight? Okay, maybe. Actually, no. She probably is. She's, she's literally twenty-eight. Holy shit! Shut the fuck <laughs> up! Shut up! Shut the fuck she's up! She's actually twenty-eight. <gasps> Shut up! Are you serious? Bruh. That was a big oh ass guess. Wait, let me see. Oh my god. You got that literally right on point. What the right? hell? <laughs> that is oh god. That's like and when me and my husband will, will be like to each other, like, how old do you think this like basketball player is or like how tall do you mm. think he is? And sometimes I'm like usually right on age twenty eight. Why does it seem to me like celebrities are always like 50 years older than their actual age it's like, because it's because you hear about celebrities all the time and that like true. you never at first i feel like you never expect celebrities to be as old as they are and then you see a bunch of mm. celebrities that are so fucking like old and you're just like what the hell now you're just now you just always expect them to be older that's true, that, that's what that's me like I was cut like when you were like, "Are you serious?" and I, I was actually like, "Oh, then she's probably in her thirties, isn't she?" <laughs> yeah, I really thought she was in her thirties or like thirty-five. Ah, oh, it's so Just weird. Dying. Even me, even thinking like literally on like Thursday, I'm gonna be like twenty-four, and I'm just like, I'm gonna throw up inside. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's my life going? <laughs> you Goodbye. know who also I was like super had a crush on. Fucking mm. from Arrested, no, not Arrested Development. Um, it's it's, it's Parks and Rec. Parks and oh my god! Wait, no, What's wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. April. Yes, April. Shut oh, up. She is. She even now, even now, the actress who I forgot her Aubrey. name. Aubrey. Aubrey Plaza. She yes. is so beautiful. She is so beautiful. She is everything that I've ever wanted. I, I love her awkwardness in, in like <laughs> interviews, but also at the same oh time God. her like domination of like the conversation. I love her like it's just and then her character. Of course, she's not her character, but and of course oh, I don't yeah. know her like real self or whatever. But you know, <laughs> maybe it was love at first sight. I don't know. Oh my God, <laughs> she's so she's so attractive, and her her personality makes her like is like eighty. Like I mean to be. Is like a large person. Wait, she's very attractive look wise, but she's even more attractive uh, uh, personality wise. I love her personality, or at least what I've seen of it. Of course, she can be completely different. Mm. True. Wow, this says. But hey, Abby wow. Plaza, if you happen to be listening to this Shut one up. day. <laughs> But you know what we were we were if talking you need about a website. We were talking about shooting shots before you know what aubrey plaza if you're ever listening to this let's get a drink and talk i think i have a lot of conversation topics to talk about oh. <laughs> please okay that little bit that you just did about aubrey plaza i'm gonna need you to send me that <laughs> so i can put that on the instagram it's oh yeah that'd, that'd be dope I, I also too, kind of. I've been like taking notes of our like episode. Mm -hmm. I would like to kind of just like quickly recap it, and maybe we could like put it in the beginning or something, or just like not use it. I don't know. Or like mainly like just for Instagram. So like instead of just a static image, I could like put like the voice of me just be like, "Oh, we're in this mm -hmm. episode. We talk about the blah, 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 you know." Yeah. Wait. Wait. So. What you're saying that you want so you said you're you, so you're you, are you currently taking down notes about the you know the contents of an episode yeah so i've just been taking down like kind of just like the main topics we've been talking about and then i just want to like you are it. super super uh great at this and i uh, honestly I am, it's very, it, it gets very hard pressed for me to find somebody who has work ethic. <laughs> and so like, you are probably the only person that I've ever 
done a project with that actually has really great work ethic, which is insane. So good job. I love it. Wow, thank you. Yeah, it's it's really really fucking great <laughs> to actually like, cause like usually with me and projects, it, it, funny uh, funny enough, in a way it kind of re reminds me of like the the way that I like. Or, I don't know if this sounds weird, but the way that I kind of like relationships, where it's just like my problem with most relationships is that I feel like I'm I'm the one who has to do most of the work because mm -hmm. like it, for the most part, again, if you if, if she doesn't have like a hobby or anything or if she's like very dependent on me, which my, like most of my exes were, um, I have to do a lot of like the, you know, reciprocation and like I have to pull myself away from, you know, doing work, which I am like addicted to 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 work with them. And what that does is that end up, ends up making me very, very, like, you know, depressed and very, very, you know, like, feel very, very tired and stuff like that. Um, so, like, in the same way, when it comes to working on projects with somebody, I, I, for the most part, I almost always do all of the work. <laughs> so, like, when you're like, oh, yeah, hey, I did this and I started this and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I don't expect you to do any of that. Yes, go. Keep on. Keep it up. So. <laughs> Alex, this is a um, partnership, aka two or more people are working at it, and it's with you too. But yeah, I think, um, okay, so I'm just going to quickly recap basically our episode, and then you can just like snip out of obviously the main and just send mm -hmm. it to me, and I'll just use it on the Instagram for some cool little post or something. Thanks for joining our conversation. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And we will see you in the next chat.